Hello, my name is Dr. Scott Young with Hearing Solutions Centers, and today we're going to talk to you about feedback. Let me explain. So when you hear this thing of feedback, here's what happens. There's a person down in front of a lecture or at church, and this is what happens to her. And everyone's looking around, trying to figure, what is that noise? And then, then people right beside you look at that person and it's, it's you. Okay? Or it's a friend that you care about. It's that person that cannot hear it. Now, feedback is an issue that can happen with hearing aids. But let's talk about how to fix and deal with that issue. Number one, number one, you could have wax in the way. Now, the hearing aid seats into your ear, and here's the eardrum. It sends the signal in to the eardrum and then sent up to the brain. If you wanna see more about what that means, we can explain that in other videos. But what if you have wax in the way? So number one I'd like to do is look at the ear canal and it might be wax in the way. Now some people get a lot of wax and I do. And I can have more that gets in there. So the wax gets in there, causes my problems and I'm whistling a lot the sound bounces off the wax and gets reamplified and reamplified and reamplified. So that's one of the problems that can happen with feedback. The second thing that we look for is if it's working correctly. So let me give you an example. If something is not working as correctly as you wish it would because the microphone or the speaker is bad, it's rattling loose inside of the circuit. Okay, and I wear hearing aids in both of my ears. And if it's rattling loose inside there, it could be causing a feedback thing. That's gotta be repaired. Now that's a repairable kind of item. Now, if you have a newer type of hearing aid that's still under warranty, just send it in, have, have us take care of it. We'll send it in for you, no problem at all. Thirdly, we have cracked shells. Now, I wear you know, uh, uh, over the ear with a little rubbery tube. Now, if the rubbery tube breaks, that also can cause the feedback. But if you have a hard shell device on the inside, if it breaks down or you dropped it and you didn't realize, it's not like a phone where you kind of drop it and it just cracks a little bit, it's no big deal. This can actually leak out the sound and do that same feedback loop again and again. So if other people around you are noticing that whistling, you've got to get those things checked out. Now the last thing that can also uh, that can happen is a person whose hearing has changed. When you're about four to seven years down the road and longer, your hearing might have changed and that audiologist might have turned you up and turned you up, but it becomes to the point where it's whistling, which is too much prescription for that hearing loss and that hearing aid to be able to accomplish. So the prescription is going up. I mean, your prescription is getting worse and you're trying to push something out of that hearing aid and it's whistling all the time. And I see people in my office just that same way. And unfortunately, I gotta tell you that many times it's time for a new hearing aid. I have this uh, accountant a friend of mine and he's a patient of ours, wonderful guy. And, I, I, and he comes in and they're whistling and he's not hearing as well. And he's got to be able to hear to understand what's going on. He's got all kinds of clientele. And if he can't hear five, five, six, eight, two, whatever that might be, you know, he's hearing the numbers and he really hears five, five, six, eight, four, is he going to get it correct? No, he's going to have problems with that. He needs to have the correct amplification and he's whistling all the time. Again, he's not hearing. He needs help. So the first thing that we always want to do is look at the ear canal, see if there's wax and remove it. That's what the audiologist can do. Secondly, we're going to see if the hearing aid's working correctly. Maybe it needs a repair. Thirdly, we're going to look at the shell and everything else to see that it's seating correctly in your ear. And fourthly, the possibility might be that your prescription has changed. And if your prescription's changed, 
you potentially do need new hearing aids. So those are some of the reasons that can happen. There's a bunch of more things that we could get into, but those are the basic reasons that might cause you problem with feedback in your ears. So thank you so much for listening. Subscribe, check us out, ask questions, or happy to do that for you. We'll talk to you later.